Oh my God. Look, I haven't been to this place for over 20 years. And in a funny way, I remembered it. As soon as I got up to the reception desk, I looked out the back and I remembered this lawn. It's got a beautiful big green leafy lawn with lots of palm trees. It looks a little bit different to when I came here. But this is one of the hotels that they were selling timeshare 20 plus years ago when I first came to Bali. It was like magic. Oh, you, you're a lucky winner. You look, check this out. And I remember the little massage stout table there. And I remember the lawn. It's so much more beautiful than I remember now. But this is one of these infamous Bali timeshare apartments or, or complexes. And they've just, um, I think this one's just about up to the end of their lease and they're starting a new one up the road or something. I don't know. But I'm in a suburb that I have hardly ever been to. Certainly not this in recent times. It's called Banoa. Now it's probably the furthest place away from Kuda you can go and still stay within sort of Dempasar region. So if you imagine you've got the, the airport at Kuda and Jimbaran and then you've got the whole Uluwatu Peninsula. Well, if you curl as far around that on the on the left hand side of that left right i don't know <laughs> i'm looking backwards at you um then you'll end up here in banoa and it's absolutely beautiful here's here's my old mate rolf how are you uh rolf's been following me on youtube for a while and he said oh come up and, and say good day so i've come down we have a lovely little chat and a beer because i only for quality assurance and training purposes that was a, <laughs> but i'm just loving this place look at it beautiful clean pools Lovely little restaurant and a great little bar. It's quite quiet. It's a good mix of um, not not as younger people as uh, not not the nightlife crowd, I would say, um, but people just relaxing, enjoying themselves. And the best thing about over this side of the beach, you've got a beautiful sandy beach here, and all out there, there's a breakwater. Well, there's a natural reef, and so you don't get the waves in close to the shore which means it's a beautiful place just to paddle or for kids. And then when the tide goes out, it goes so far out that you can almost walk straight out to where those break, the, the water is breaking. And there's starfish and crabs and lovely things, just a little bit of beach combing. <clears throat> and when the tide's up and there's enough water in the bay or an the ocean, there's a lot of water sports. You see them water skiing and jet boating and jet skiing and So, this is just another little spot. There's so many, look, I, I don't know how many times I've said, if you keep looking in Bali, you'll find something. Every single day, there's something different to find. I didn't even know this place was here. It was just a little bit around the corner further from where I've been on around Uluwatu, Jimbaran, and, and up around there. But they're beautiful hotels. They've got some big name hotels like the Marriott. They've got some little tiny ones. And I think the best thing about being over here is you've got almost no traffic. You've got the village lifestyle for the whole road in and out of here. It's fairly average, nice little road sweeping through. There's a couple of, of um, couple of like decent shops where you can buy a supermarket type uh, things if you want to do a little bit of self sort of looking after yourself, catering or get some toiletries and stuff like that. So you're not stuck out in the sticks. You're actually in a in a, in a high residential area you don't have a million people coming up trying to sell your stuff you don't have people trying to braid your hair every other day there's a lady here would do massage and pedicure and, and hair braiding but <laughs> probably one lady and not 600 of them you can buy a t-shirt and a sarong and a hat anything else you need um and you can just duck into the beach bar grab a nice cold beer and they were bloody nice and put us on and there's here's a beach walk there we go. There's a lady full of beach dresses. Hello. Hello. Um, so, it's a lot like Sanua. I love Sanua because it's a little bit slow down, relax, take, take your time and enjoy your holiday. If you want to have a crazy wild holiday, you can do some beach and water sports here, but the rest of the time, you will be like this fella here, just relaxing. Lying down, getting a bit of sun, working on your tan, or just just enjoying life. So, where am I here? I'm at the Peninsula Beach Club. Uh, uh, beach Resort. Oh, Peninsula Beach Resort, and there's another one on the other side of the of the spit or on the peninsula, Peninsula Bay Resort, 
and that sort of looks back in towards the city. Yeah. So that's even more calmer waters. Um, but this is the this is the duck's guts. This one's yeah, beautiful, isn't it? Really nice. Um, and has it got one of those magic? It has one of those magic bars. Yeah, the ones he, he, the, 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 the automatic yeah. flushing urinal pool swim up bar. <laughs> <laughs> we all know what happens to that. We're not going to talk yeah, about it. Yeah. If it does, if we don't talk about it, it doesn't happen. But look at this. This is beautiful. So I would. Yeah, look, it's another. It's another option. If you're coming over here and you just, where should I go? Banoa and. There's some beautiful hotels. There's some beautiful cheaper places I saw on the way through. There's good traffic. And if you just don't want to go anywhere near the craziness of Kuda and downtown, I'll give you an idea from, from Dempasar all the way past Kuda, Jemberan and up to here was about 45 minutes with no traffic. So it'll be a good hour with traffic. Um, but from the airport, probably oh, 30 minutes. Uh, if you take the toll, barely 20 minutes. Oh, really? Yeah, okay, yeah. so the toll road gets you here in a heartbeat. Um, but honestly, it's um, it's a good option. It's a really nice option. It's every bit of what Sunur is, I'd say. Hey. Yes. But probably even a little bit less congested. Correct. Yep. So if you want to just relax and take your time, kick back, this is a nice, nice area to think about doing it. Um, that's what I love about Bali. Every single place, there's somewhere for everyone. Yes. I'm just looking at this, the sports bar here. Look at this. There's a sports bar at the front. Oh, there's a sports bar. Is that, so this is the front one. Yep. Karaoke night. Thank God it's Friday, Tuesday. What's on? Two for the price of one, three for the price of two, free starters, pool competition. So they've got a lot of little activities. That'd be pretty pretty packed. Have you, have you been out there? Yeah, yeah. So a good part? We, we did the quiz. Yeah. Oh, yeah, quiz we did. <laughs> How's the quiz night? Yeah. Well, hey, look, it's a lovely many of my fans. It's lovely finding out new places, and this is how I get to, to uh, find out about all these places. And the funny thing is, I came here 20 odd years ago and because they were trying to sell me a timeshare. Um, and yeah, it is a beautiful place, um, but now I live here, so <laughs> it would have been much good to me. Yeah. Hey, lovely to meet you. Okay, yeah, thanks for tonight. See you, see you lots, yeah, and enjoy the rest of your trip. See you next uh, May. Yeah, you're coming back. Okay, Keep in touch, you know where I am. Okay. Check these out, beautiful, beautiful rooms. I'm going to see if they're going to let me sneak in and have a quick look. Hello. Hello. Oh, no one here. Look at that. Hello, boss. Oh, it's lovely. That's quite a fancy little room. Doing the housekeeping in that one. Big puffy mattresses, I know that much. Wow. It's really nice. It's nice and cruisy, nice, relaxing. It's quite cool. A bit of a breeze coming straight off that water. You're watching all the banana boats and stuff going past. Um, lovely. It was a bit overcast this morning, we thought it might get a bit of rain, but that's actually turned out really nice. So you can get your, get your little massage over there by the pool. I remember the one I had when I was here was absolutely beautiful. I'll tell you how much they were. Here's the spa charges. They've got an inside spa as well. Ooh, okay. Ready for this? A one hour traditional massage in a resort, 12 bucks. Wow, that's the full body using aromatic oils with long firm strokes, stimulating pressure points and stretching techniques. And then you've got all these different ones. Stone massage, 40 bucks for two hours. Facials, oh. That, um, look at this. So, if you're coming over this way, I, I gotta say, <laughs> as much as a novelty as a $5 boost massage at Kuda or down around there, they really, they're just sitting there rubbing your shoulders or your head and it doesn't feel bad. But this is a proper traditional massage and they, they really know how to get all those little knots and work them out. Body scrub, stone massage, back massage for 80 bucks, uh, $8, well, that's crazy. 
reflexology. Now that, you've got sore feet, you've got tired legs, you've been walking around a bit for, how much was that one? Eight dollars for 30 minutes, just all over your legs and your feet. Oh, you feel like a new person. Guys, like, like I keep saying, I just love the variety. I love the fact that no matter where you are in Bali, you find something to suit your budget, you find something that suits your requirements, whether you're a family with little kids, whether you're grown up, whether you're retired, whether you're an adventurer, or whether you just want to sit back, do nothing, have someone else do all the hard work, you'll find everything you need here in Bali, out of any budget, in any village, just about any place, certainly around the, the, the downtown Dempasar region. So, oh, it's beautiful. It is so beautiful. Look at this beautiful wood carving. Now not only is this bit absolutely like hand carved and chiseled, but it'll tell a whole story and it looks like it's the story of the Monkey King. Wow. Beautiful. Just, just beautiful. The quality of the arts over here are just breathtaking. Breathtaking. There's a restaurant over there, Jacaranda. There's a sports bar at the front. Lovely big foyer. Let me go and ask them how much well, their costs are. Oh, yeah. Much as that's beautiful, I can tell you, <clears throat> this is a membership only place. So you've actually got to be part of the timeshare or part of the, the membership club, the holiday club to, uh, to be here. But there's a whole heap of hotels and motels up and down here that um, so you just wander in, pay your money, and, you, and you're good to go. So <clears throat> I'm going to come back here and do a little bit more vlogging around Banoa because this is a really beautiful part of part of um, Bali that I, I didn't know much about, and it's just a little bit away from everything else. I'll show you the beautiful little shops. There's some nice handicrafts available in the shops. There's plenty of places to get uh, to change your money over that look quite respectable. I don't think you're going to find as many dodgy and um, painful uh, people here trying to take advantage of you. Some places like the busy places, you're gonna find people always trying out, not necessarily scare me just to, just to try and make an extra dollar. Well, this is probably the last place in the middle of the city. Look at this beautiful sports bar here. This is not one of those places you're gonna get hassled too much. And it was, and a place that you'd be very, very happy if you come to stay. All up and down this beach is just beautiful. So, wow, I'm, I'll be back. I'll, I'll check this place out a bit more. Love it. You don't have to stay in the timeshare or go to an expensive resort just around the corner from the Conrad, which is a beautiful, amazing place, is the Ibis Styles. Now this place, like, it's got beautiful rooms from about 60 bucks a night up to about maybe 80 bucks a night with a um, family room or with a balcony or something. And it's, it's nice and intimate. It's not the biggest, but... Straight away they've got a pool. Great place for kids to come and swim because obviously there's a hippie kids there. They've got a nice little bar here, restaurant. And it's literally just across from the beach. It's beautiful. So, Benoa. Benoa. Um, this is probably my recommendation. If you've got a young family and you don't want it to be too crazy, 
you want a relaxing holiday, you don't want to have to go too far to do anything. You don't need to do anything much. You still get a, a tour to come and pick you up here and take you anywhere. But you're going to lose half an hour in time to get there because you're sort of a little bit out of the way. But for all of the tours around Uluwatu, for surfing, for just tripping out, tripping around, your holiday in on one side, you got this beautiful ibis place here. It's quite big. Ibis stars, there we go. And you'll probably get a special price if you look it up online. I used to go to a go to or booking.com, but from about 50, 60 bucks a night, how can you go wrong with that? It's worth a look. Anyway, nice relaxing holiday, not too crazy, not too stupid, and not too expensive, but quiet. And you're not fighting traffic and you're not being hassled by a million people trying to sell you stumping some something with an umbrella in it. <laughs> oh, I prayed your hair. Oh look, that's what I love. Everywhere you go, you find little gems like this one here. And I'm sure if I could drive down there about two minutes, I'm gonna find it all over again. So one thing I will say about Banoa is there's lots of really nice, smallish but, but nice looking restaurants and it's Mexican or Italian or um, Indian food. And because you're sort of a little bit out of the way, I don't reckon you'd be swamped with a million people waiting for you know, to get served. Um, there, there is a lot of construction going on and a lot of repair work so it's probably not one of the most common places for people to come and, and it's still got a ways to go before it's going to be back up to what it used to be but I'm sure this is one of the up and coming suburbs because you're sort of off on our own little peninsula and you're not being absolutely hassled a million times by through traffic or by, by other people just coming up and trying to, trying to sell you something so yeah look if you're semi-retired and you just want to relax, if you just want to come over here and get away from all of the, the strife of wherever you are now, it's a nice little spot to look at. But Noah, put that in your list. area Nusa Dua has become very very tight with the G20 summit and all the dignitaries and, and uh, politicians coming over here and getting ready for all of that infrastructure change so there's often police convoys with blacked out windows and important people getting ushered through the traffic police at the traffic lights making sure that they get through without any any problems or dramas and there is a bit of disruption at the moment because the summit's getting closer. It's going to be here in October, November. And they've already had quite a number of free events, planning events, to bring people over here to get them ready, to get the itineraries, to get the security measures in place. So Bali is changing. Bali is becoming very modern. The infrastructure is great. The highways and the roads are now looking better than they have for many, many years. 